Well, good morning, guys. This is Chris Boardwine with Davie County Diggers, and I'm out here with my buddy Travis from Moan County Relics and Detecting, and we're really excited about this permission that we've got this morning. You can see behind me this old stone fireplace. This is on a structure that was built in the late 1700s that we have just gotten permission on, and Travis was kind enough to invite me along. He's already come out and scoped it out a little bit yesterday. He's found some great things already. You'll have to check out his video to see what he's got. But we're getting ready to get started, and uh, we'll show you what we got on our first find. Thanks for joining us. Well, guys, I'm here at the house. I just got started. Uh, got a nice little iron target right here uh, at the base of the house and I'm hunting the AT Max today in zero mode with about a 25 discrimination on iron. There's going to be a lot of uh, nails and stuff like that in the ground. I'm trying to weed a little bit of that out but I uh, got my first good signal here this morning. Uh, it was ringing up in the 60s and I'll turn you around and let you look and see what I got. Alright, well you can see I've gone ahead and pulled a little plow point out of the ground. Uh, pretty cool little piece of history here on a house. That was built in the late 1700s and we know it was occupied until uh, about the mid 1800s so that's a good find that's pretty old uh hopefully we'll find a bunch more cool old stuff today hang with me well guys i'm back i've been working up along the uh north side of that house and uh haven't got a whole lot a couple horseshoes and uh, some old iron implements but uh travis has been squawking down here so i wanted to come down here and see what he's got into and he's at the base of this really old massive tree i mean it's really been there a long time Let's take a look. What you got, Trav? Two silver. <laughs> Can you believe that? I was digging a bunch of 22 shell casings. And I got a 52 half and a 39 quarter and a buffalo right here. All out of the same place. Nice. Also dug a weedy, but it's in my bag. That was the first thing I pulled out was a weedy, but that's crazy. I guess the squirrel hunter was digging shells out of his pocket dropping silvers. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because this, this is definitely, you know, our house is seven, it's 1790s, 1800s, so this is way ahead of the house. You know, there is another property across the creek that dates these, but I didn't expect to find these here. I expected to find the silver at the other place. So. Hey, nice Thanks. find. Yeah, man, Good thank deal. you. All right, guys, we're back here on the back side of the house, and Travis had a scratchy little signal, and it was driving us crazy. I ran over it with my Max, and it wasn't doing much until he had the hole started, but uh, yeah, he pulled this nice little brass plate of button out. Read Southern on the front. It's got some markings on some kind on the back. We'll read them a little later. The shank's there, so Travis is absolutely just scorching me this morning. I hadn't found much. And he's on the coins, and he's on the buttons. Nice find, my brother. Good job. Well guys, I wish I had live dug this, but it didn't work out that way. But uh, we were kind of getting ready to move positions here a little bit and uh, down about four inches. Found this nice little Indian. It's my first Indian. I did get a date off the loop with it. It's a uh, 1904. And uh, let me see if I can pull it into the camera here. Oh, she's green. I love it. What a beautiful coin. Travis is still killing me, but uh, hey, I like it. Catch it up. You catching up? Cool deal. We'll keep moving. All right, guys. So. My Max was acting kind of sick. It just wasn't making real good uh, signals and everything like that. I did a factory reset on it and she came back to life. And what do you know, uh, right over there is where I just dug that Indian. Came back over here and uh, there's another one. 1905. It's a pretty coin. It's gonna clean up nice. Hey, two Indians in about five minutes we'll take that well guys I have just pulled two Indians and I've got another little scratchy target that I suspect could possibly be another Indian so I'm going to dig this with you 
wish me luck cross my fingers i've never had any luck on live digs but we'll see how this one does Pretty close. Oh, and she's a shotgun shell. <laughs> That's what I get for doing a live dig. Oh well, moving on. Well guys, I'm coming back down the hill and Travis has done got himself another Indian. <laughs> he's looping it up right now looking at the date on there we're gonna zoom in just a little bit she's slick but we could see a date yes you can right underneath right there pointing my thumb 1880 i don't know if this will focus or not but my first indian was uh 1871 1880 so that makes how many indians here in the last little bit four in about 10 minutes yeah we'll take that <laughs> yes sir well travis has called me back down here and he's done got him within just a couple feet of that indian flat button Shank was been right there, 1800s button. It's got some kind of design on it, but I think the cows have walked over it just a little bit too much. Uh, but I can do see something around the edges. Maybe when we clean it up a little bit later on the day, we'll be able to see something with it. That's a good find. Nice little flat button. Good deal, brother. Well, guys, I'm back, and I tell you what's the truth. Uh, gone are the days where I've been hunting at uh, city parks and whatnot, and the clad coins are just banging your ears off. Out here hunting these old properties, you really got to be listening to your detector, listening for those scratchy targets. Uh, some of them are deep. This one wasn't particularly deep, but it really was acting scratchy. And I'm really happy with this. I've got an old black powder pistol ball, lead. It's got a nice patina on it. That's a cool find. That's a piece of history right there. I'll take that all day long. All right, guys, had a little 74, 75 signal. I am right behind the old stone fireplace. And uh, it's out of the hole. Let's see if we can get on it. Oh yeah, we got an old button. Dude, that's a round button too. What's on that thing? Let me go ahead and turn the video off. We'll clean it up a little bit and I'll come back and show you. All right guys, I got this button cleaned up just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely got an eagle on it. The shank is intact. There's some writing on there, but I can't really make it out. I'll study on it a little bit when I get home tonight and uh, put it in the wrap up and show you what I got. But hey, this site has turned out to be pretty nice. Real happy with that. Good find. Guys, Travis just called me back. He's been working on this side of the house for a pretty good while over here. And I'll be dog jammed if he hadn't pulled another Indian out of the hole. I don't know if you can see on there. 1888. That's mm. a pretty coin. It's going to clean up nice. Yeah, this ground, keep, a lot of times you find these Indians and they're, they're just totally, you can't, they're corroded. But evidently this ground is a little sandy. And I think that, I guess it protects that coin. It's a good is find. How many, how many Indians is that today? Three for me and two for you. I need to get on it. <laughs> Let's go. Well, guys, I got this thing pulled out of the hole, and I am not really sure what this is. I mean, it kind of looks like the cap of an old toothpaste lid or something like that, but I know that's not what this is. It's lead, and it's old. So uh, I don't know if you can see it through the sun or not, but uh, if anybody got any idea about what that might be, how about drop me a comment? Kind of interesting. 
Hey guys, well, here we are. It's getting close to the end of the day. I think uh, we're gonna have to bust out of here probably in about another 30 or 40 minutes or so, but uh, we're just trying to put the mad rush on and uh, keep after it. And I just pulled something out of the ground that is really, really cool. Uh, it was ringing up about a 45. I was pretty convinced it was gonna be a shotgun shell, but hold on, what you're about to see is so cool. So forgive Hang me on. for the uh, bad quality video but I have found what appears to be like an old locket. And inside you can clearly see the image of a man. I don't think it's a photograph, it may be a lithograph, but that very well could be one of the owners that lived in this house way back in the 1790s. If that ain't history right there, I don't know what is. That is absolutely cool. I'm gonna try to get this thing cleaned up just a little bit more. Um, let me zoom on, in on it one more time for you guys. See if you can really get in there and see this guy. How cool. Well, I just had a little 65 signal, pulled it out of the hole, and I was not expecting this at all. I would have thought this would have rung up much, much lower. I don't know. Colonial Easter basket? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what it is. If anybody's got an idea, it'd be awesome if you could put a comment in there. I'd love to know. It's pretty cool. It's real heavy. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pouch and keep on moving. We're just about done for the day. Travis accused me of digging to China, and I suppose he's right. And all for this. Guys, is that a bell seal? What is that? It is definitely lead. And it's heavy. I don't think it's a bullet. I don't think it's a button. If you know, how about tell me, because I feel like I just, everything I dig up, I'm like, what is that? What is that? Anyhow, it's pretty cool. I'll put it in the pocket. Um, we might dig one more. Or we might be done. All right, guys. Well, I'm back from the hunt. Let's uh, do a quick little wrap up. I didn't put this bottle on film. I found it off in the woods. Um, it's not terribly old. Uh, probably early 1900s. It's it's got no embossing on it. Uh, you can see the the mold mark on it. it. You know, for most bottle collectors, this would be a junker. I kind of like the blue color, so I'm going to clean it up. I think it'll look nice when it does get cleaned up. Um, half a horseshoe, a lot of big iron stuff that I really don't know what it is. Obviously, we've got a plow point up here. Um, a couple old shotgun shells. Um, I kind of like the old ones. Clean them up, I'll keep them. Um, this thing's kind of interesting. Got a hook on it. I really don't know what it went to. Um, a lot of old square nails. I have more than this. This is just a few I threw out there. Um, one clad quarter, one clad penny, and one Canadian penny, believe it or not. Um, got part of an old buckle here that uh, I believe is period. I believe this is pretty old. I am not exactly sure what this is. But it came out where we were finding a bunch of old stuff, so I held on to it. Um, got an old 22, an old pistol ball, lead. This piece of lead, is this a bale seal? I'm not sure. Uh, piece of fired lead bullet. We got the uh, the 1904 and the 1905 Indian head, both of them are really green. I love them, they're beautiful. Uh, that really cool uh, lithograph that I was showing you guys, um, I'm in love with this piece. I don't know who that man is, but I just think it is just the coolest thing. And then I've got my Civil War General Service button. Don't intend to clean this up a whole lot, it's just going to stay as it is. On the back, it is marked with extra quality. So that's pretty cool. That's a piece of history. 
again, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we had a great time today. I want to thank Travis for inviting me out to his permission. Travis, you're a heck of a guy. I look forward to hunting with you again in the future. I really appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, if you did like it, please do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. Thanks, and we'll catch you on the next time. See you.